Hey, what's up everybody? This is James Hudson bringing my supplement review for July 2014. And for this month, I'm going to be reviewing Giant Sports Protein. This is called the Delicious Protein. It's the chocolate flavor. I'm going to go over just a couple of things as I usually do. I'm going to go read the label first, highlight some of the things and point those out. So it's 27 grams of protein per serving, 4 grams of carbs, there's no added sugar, which is nice, it's gluten free, and they say that there's added BCAAs, that's all from the front, I'm going to go to the back and take a little look there, see if there's anything else worth pointing out here. Uh, total calories per each uh, serving is 137. There's 25 servings in this uh, package here. This is the the two pound package. One thing they do say that there are added BCAAs to this, but one thing I was kind of disappointed with was that they I couldn't ever find. I kind of scoured over this entire label package, and I could never find anywhere where it says exactly what the amount of BCAAs are. And that's one thing that they could really enhance the packaging of this is to tell you that. I know that Optimum Nutrition, they do that with their package. They'll tell you how many grams of BCAAs they put in their products. That's something maybe they could consider with this. That's about all for the ingredients and what's in it. Um, significantly lower carbs based from just what they're saying here. One thing that's kind of interesting, what they said on the front was they said it's physician approved and reviewed. So if you see that right there... That's kind of interesting. I wonder who exactly the physician is and what their uh, medical background is in the medical field. So maybe they could add that in sometime. Uh, flavor and taste. I say that they say on this package this is a delicious protein. It's a chocolate flavor. It, it's incredibly tasting. Really enjoy the taste. I'd probably give it like a 9.5 out of 10. You know, just awesome tasting protein. And I've typically been uh, also throwing in uh, 5 grams of creatine with this as well. And for the heart gainers out there, if you want to get a couple more calories and kind of enhance your size a little bit, what you can do is just add uh, creatine with this, as well as add like, like a giant scoop of peanut butter and uh, maybe like some Nutella or something else in there just to give you some more calories and protein as well. Uh, for the value side, I did get this at a local GNC. I got this for, this is 25, 25 servings for this two pound container. I left the store paying a little bit, oh, when you include tax. Including tax, I paid like a little bit more than a dollar per serving. Which, uh, you know, roughly right around where I want to be. But, this was a clearance item. So, if I would not have bought this as a clearance item, it would have been significantly more. And so i got to say that the value isn't too great for this product. Right around where I want to be is right around the dollar per serving mark. And so uh, it's kind of a downside with that. Uh, anything else to talk about there? Uh, well, the last thing is the buy or not buy. Or I guess in my case, the rebuy or not rebuy. Um, if, if I can find this in the future... Uh, pretty good cost, pretty good value, I, could, I guess I could just say, then definitely I will consider getting this in the future. Um, I know the past couple of years I've been seeing like a lot of great supplements at uh, Costco, as well as um, my, my roommate has the uh, Sam's Club card, and so we've gone to Sam's Club a couple of times, so maybe I could check it out there if they have it at better value, and maybe possibly get it there in the future. But other than that, uh, for you personally, uh, definitely give it a shot. Give it a try if you're looking to try some new protein out there on the market. So uh, give it a shot and see what you think. Flavor's awesome. Um, pretty great once you mix it with milk. You're getting definitely more than 30 grams of protein per serving. And um, I believe they do the uh, rounded scoops. And one thing I kind of advocate for is doing the heaping scoops when you're doing protein because... What's going to happen is something may get stuck to the container, the blender, or whatever you're using, and so you're going to lose some of the amount of what they're officially saying. So 
do a heaping scoop as I do, and maybe that will give you a little bit more of a fuller amount. Other than that, thanks for watching, and as, as always, say with these, there's a supplement out there that you want me to try, leave it down there in the uh, comments box, and I'll give that consider it for the future. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.